Just a few years ago, Pablo would have had little choice but to migrate from his small village in the state of Oaxaca to Mexico's north, or like many, to the United States. Now there's another option, Oaxaca's first cucumber plant. It's good to live in Mexico. This is where we're from. We go to the U.S. and they don't want us there. Jose Robles, himself a returning migrant, set it up with his brother Mario 16 years ago. They had one greenhouse and four employees. Now they have 75. When we started, it was a battle to get people. There are very few because they all immigrated, but now they come to work here. The plant is, as yet, an outlier in a poor state where many are forced to head to the U.S. to look for work, while their families depend on the remittances that provides. But nationally, the panorama is changing little by little. We're no longer in the years of the Mexican migration boom. In fact, the population of Mexicans in the United States is very slowly shrinking as more return home than head there. It's not easy for returnees to enter the local workforce. Authorities are giving them some help with airport welcomes, Mexican documents, and in some cases, funds to start businesses. Some firms, like the cucumber plant, along with others, especially call centers, are also profiting from the efficient, often bilingual, labor. But for many returning workers, the sticking point is the low pay. Rosalia is earning less than $100 a week in the cucumber business and would head back to the States and the better salaries in a heartbeat if recrossing the border got easier or safer. We work in the fields and the money isn't enough. Things are expensive and the children need it to keep up with their studies. I've really suffered to pay for my son's university. The hope is that in the future, Mexican salaries and opportunities continue to rise, keeping more of the young, like Pablo, at home. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Oaxaca.